This is group eight. Um, our, our topic area is reusing waste heat from server farms. So normally, if you have, if you have a room full of servers, um, the cooling system, usually there's, you use air conditioning, a lot of energy is used up trying to get the heat out of the room. Um, we're, we're trying to look for ways that you could reduce the energy consumption of your cooling systems and also try to reuse some of that waste heat to do something useful. Um, what, we, what we ended up, uh, do you want to talk about what we're doing? Or? All right. So I'll talk about the function? Yeah. Okay. okay. So I'll just uh, simply go over some of the functions that is in the program right now. So right now, there's like a one loop of the liquid cooling system. So what it does is that there's a whole set of uh, piping that goes through into the CPU, and then it will actually uh, transfer the heat from the CPU, and then um, the water will keep going through the loop so that it kind of dissipates the um, heat inside the water to the, to the air. So we are at the maximum temperature of about 55 degrees Celsius at the most. And at this point of the section of the project, well, what's happening is that the heat from the water is kind of getting uh, transferred into the radiator so that the, um, we get a hot side and then we, if we get the cold side on the top of this uh, thermoelectric generator, we will be able to uh, demonstrate that we are, we are actually producing some of the power from the uh, temperature difference. So to demonstrate that, um, right now there's a um, hot side underneath and then we will put some uh, dry ice on top of it to demonstrate the uh, uh, cold side of this. So what happens is that the voltage is kind of rising and then if we try to uh, make some surface area more, we get a higher voltage. We are um, reaching at about uh, 1.2 or 1. We're, we're, and then well, we can uh, light up the LED if we actually goes up higher than 1.6 voltage. That was a kind of proof of concept that we had into the project. Yeah, so in a, in a practical deployment of this, obviously we wouldn't use dry ice. Um, but the idea would be that on, on the hot end, you'd have a closed system that's carrying heat away from like a large amount of servers. And then on the cold side, we would use tap water um, to try to take some, take some uh, energy usage offset off of uh, like water heating that would have heated the water anyway for the purpose of, of using it as hot water. Um, so we could pump some of the heat out into tap water and at the same time the, the pumping action across these thermoelectric generators would, would uh, generate some useful electricity. And so, that's the yeah. end of our presentation. Thank you very much.